Welcome to Wise Guy series, Equivalent Fractions. Creating equivalent fraction. So equivalent fraction are fractions that have the same value or represent the same part of an object. Let's see if a pie cut in two parts. So we select one part, which is represented by 1 over 2. But if you cut the pie smaller into four parts, but you take two parts. So we have 2 over 4. And even you make cut smaller, more smaller, you got the six part and you take three part, you got three over six. So one half two f over four and the three over six, they are equivalent because they represent the same part of an object, half, half, half. So let's try how to create equivalent fraction. We still have the same example, one half, one over two. To, creating, to create equivalent fraction, you just multiply numerator and the denominator by the same number. So multiply, let's multiply by 2. And you got the 2 over 4. Or you multiply by 3 to top and the bottom. You got 3 over 6. And also you can multiply 4 to the top bottom, you got 4 over 8. And you multiply 5 to the top bottom, you got 5 over 10. We can make as many as we need. So 1 over 2, 2 over 4, 3 over 6, 4 over 8, 5 over 10. They are all equivalent fraction. Also, we can divide the numerator and the denominator by a common fact. We still can get equivalent fraction. For example, we have fraction 6 over 21. We're using divided method. Because 6 and the 21, they have common factor with 3. So divide the 3. The numerator divide the 3 to denominator. And then we got 2 over 7. So we can see 6 over 21 and 2 over 7, 2. They are equivalent fraction. And also we can say if you have, let's say, 4 over 20, they both even number, you divide the common fact 2 becomes 2 over 10. So 4 over 20 and 2 over 10 they are equivalent. Even we can divide it two again. We got one over five. So three of them all are equivalent. So now we have example to circle equivalent fraction. We are given 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 fractions 
let's to see how many equivalent fraction we have. So start two third. If we multiply three to the top and the bottom, then we can see we have two third multiply three because this is six. So we multiply three to the top bottom, we got the six over nine. This is six over eight. So it means these two are not equivalent. And uh, compare three, five, 3 over 5 and 2 thirds, we can see obviously this is not equivalent. To 8 over 12, we can see from 2 to 8, we multiply 4. So multiply 4, 3 multiply 4. We need to multiply the same number, right? Top and bottom. We got 8 over 12. So 2 thirds. And 8 over 12, they're equivalent. And then we check 20 over 30 and the 2 thirds. We can see, we can use division with because 20, 30, obviously they have common factor with 10. So 20 over 30, we divided 10 to the top and the bottom. We got 2 over 3. So that's why 20 over 30 are equivalent, is equivalent to 2 thirds. And next, 14 over 21, so you also can use multiply 2 to 14, multiply 7. So 2 over 3, multiply 7, multiply 7. We got 14 over 21. So this is also equivalent to to third. And the last one is 10 over 12. We multiply 2 over 3 by 5 to the top, 5 to the bottom. We have 10 over 15. So which is not 10 over 12, so it's not equivalent. So that's why 2 thirds, 8 over 12, 20 over 30, 40 over 21, they are equivalent fraction. This is represented by a wise guy.